I had a hot dog right before this, just so you know. <sighs> so sleepy. I'm so sleepy. <sighs> I ended up pulling an all-nighter once I realized today is the last day of exams. Where? <laughs> Staying up studying? Nah, I gave up on the exam. I was playing some games, and then before I knew it, it was morning. Same. Bo, you, you say that, but you probably just spent the whole night studying. Oh, shut up. Uh, shut up, Eugene. Good morning. Yo, look who else is yawning. Exams are almost over, so I thought I'd make one last effort across the finish line. Gotta clean my glasses. <gasps> Impressive, Lady I can Yon. Hear you're quite different from this, this stupid awesome. monkey I know. Which one? Huh? Don't give me that crap. Your brain's tiny compared to mine. Size is meaningless if there's nothing inside, you know. Burn. How was that? Burn! <sighs> Will you please shut up? You're gonna make me forget everything I remember. Huh? It's that guy stalking her again. Am I imagining things? Nope. You need the bathroom? What? You see a groper or something? No, that's not it. It's nothing. Hmm? Anime time. Oh my god, that guy got off. Isn't yeah, he did. Bad? Like you care. <sighs> Fine. Come on. Huh? this guy uh, hmm. hey uh, are you sure it's him or are you just that self-conscious I'm not that Is there's something you want <laughs> that's my line you are the one stalking me stalking you that's outrageous I know you've been following me ever since the train that's because... <laughs> My goodness. I had wondered why you left the car. So this is where your passion led. All is well that ends well. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. This fucking guy. Alright. What a weird way to transition I that I saw one. you from the car. And I couldn't help myself from chasing after you. Okay. Oops, bat fingers. What? You're the woman I've been searching for all this time. Please, won't you? W wait a minute, I... Be the model for my next art piece. Alrighty. Word. M model? All that I've drawn till now has been lacking. But I feel a passion from you unlike anyone else. This man's highly suspicious. Ain't this a recruit for some shady business? Damn right. Will you cooperate with me? What do you say? <laughs> Hold your horses. Who are you anyways? Oh, where are my manners? I'm a second year at Kosei High's Fine Arts Division. My name Are is you? Yusuke Kitagawa. Oh, Yusuke Kitagawa. I'm Madarame Sensei's pupil, and I am being allowed residence at his place. I'm striving to become an artist. Huh? Do you mean that, Madarame? The one who was on Good Morning Japan the other day? That one, specifically. The very same. The very same. Do you know who that is? He was introduced as a super famous Japanese style artist who's been recognized all over the world. Uh, but we heard that name the other day in Mementos. Yusuke! I'm sorry, Sensei. I'll be right there. That His voice sounds super Madarame? familiar, too. Madarame Sensei's exhibition will begin at the department store near the station tomorrow. I'll be there to help out on opening day. 
Please come I on. have to do It'd it. It'd be great if you could give me your answer in regard to being a model then. I bet you have no interest in the fine arts, but I'll give you tickets too. Well, that's kind of mean. Well then, I hope to see you there tomorrow. <laughs> that guy's as easy to read as a book. You're not planning on going, are you? I she might. think I will. Crap, but look at the time. I'll see you later. Bye, on. How dare he go after Lady On? I've memorized that face of yours, Yusuke. Bro, what a fucking simp, dude. You became acquainted with Madarame's pupil by chance? That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder if you're even telling the truth. I'm telling the so truth, be I it. promise. What I want to know most is your method. It's true that Madarame was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. He was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of children. But he'd been covering his tracks for years. How did you uncover the truth in such a short span of time? This metaverse business again? <sighs> Maybe if you listen. Fine. Let's suppose that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you've said. If so, mm -hmm. a different suspicion arises. People have gone what mad or of? lost consciousness never to recover, like the subway accident in April. Depending on how you look at it, that could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart, too. Were you related to those as well? I don't know. Hmm. I, I see, she says. <laughs> Fine. Let's get back to Madarame's case. No. Keep it concise and stick to the facts. No. Hmm. Seems like those were kind of tough. No, they're easy. They were super easy. Don't yep. Well, it wasn't too bad. You should have gotten a decent score, right? Fuck yeah, dude. Of course I did. Undo percent, baby. Undo. Finally done with the exams. Hey, are you gonna go in for counseling? I saw the volleyball guys getting called in. Oh shit, I got that question wrong! I know, right? I feel like I have to protect that teacher. After school. Uh, it's over. It's over. It's over. Hell yeah, it is. Finally. How about you? I'm feeling confident. You traitor. Hell yeah. Anyways, can we stop talking about the exams? Like it or not, they're gonna come back graded next week. Yep. Rather than focus on stuff that's over with. What are you looking at? The usual site. It's no use. There ain't any useful info. The number of posts are getting less and less, too. I am not letting this end as a one-hit wonder, okay? There's no point in getting antsy, though. I know! Why don't we go eat lunch somewhere? We still have some money left over from the other day. Shit, yeah. Maybe. I want sushi then. Or domestic raised eel. Domestic raised eel. You don't have that much left. Fuck yeah. That's weird. Oh, right. There are those tickets to Madarame's exhibit. Wait, that's tomorrow. Don't tell me. Was it love at first sight with that Yusuke guy? Kitagawa. It's not like that. Oh, Yusuke Kitagawa. Uh, of Kitagawa. course not. When I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. Plus, we've got free tickets. Besides, this could There's also Madarame be related just chilling to what in the we background heard of there. Madarame, was it? Yep. I'm curious too. Hmm. That aside, what should I do about the other two tickets? Want to go appreciate some fine arts for once? <laughs> fine arts, huh? I suggest we should all go together. Well, if everyone's going... Bad fingers, man. It's settled, then. Just the phrase, going to an art exhibit, sounds kind of mature. Yeah. 
let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. Super duper. Okay. Tomorrow we go to that exhibit with Lady On. I'm curious to know if this Matarame has anything to do with the name we heard in Mementos. We can't afford to be late tomorrow. We better not go out right now. So I keep thinking about what Nakanohara said. Have you been talking about the famous artist, Matarame? Nice catch. Well, it's a pretty rare last name. Yeah, I mean, you guys ever heard of someone else called Matarame? It's not really com- not com- it's really not common at all. If what we heard is true, Kit Kitagawa-kun is studying under a corrupt teacher. You mean a teacher who treats people like tools? Kitagawa-kun's life is probably pretty terrible. We gotta look into this, he says. Brazenly. Yeah, don't trust people so easily. Push comes to shove, they'll all stab you in the back, you hear? This is where the chief bruises, bruises famous Kaffi. Brewing coffee will cause time to pass, but makes a special coffee that restores SP. It may prove useful for exploring palaces. Hey! Are you going to try making some coffee? I'll brew some coffee. You know how to brew coffee? Help yourself to the beans on the shelves. I'll show you how each kind of bean is different later. Alright, I'm heading out to buy some cigarettes. Word. Yeah, he's so cool. Mm, I love the smell of good coffee. Me too. Yes. All right. All right. The way you're drinking it makes it look delicious. This coffee has a lot of thought and love behind it, huh? Maybe if you drink it in the metaverse, it'll heal your wounds too. A blanc coffee. <laughs> Looks like the chief's gentleman, gentlemanly charm is rubbing off on you. Doink, doink, doink. Got a point up for charm, baby. I'm a charming fool. <laughs> no, looks like you're doing well. Here, let me have a sip. All right. Why do we switch? Why did I go into the, go on mm. the other side? It's aroma and soft richness. You use Blue Mountain, huh? Let me explain. Jamaican Blue Mountain. The Blue Mountains of Jamaica have a unique climate and volcanic soil advantageous for growing their famous high-quality coffee. The coffee undergoes a rigorous inspection process and is harvested in small quantities. This produces a rich coffee with a full aroma. <sighs> its flavor profile is bland. You should practice more to bring out the roast full potential. Although I see you're preparing the cup the way I taught you, I'll acknowledge your hard work. You look like a real barista standing at the counter like that. Seems like you're following all the rules and instructions I gave you. I can't believe this kid in front of me is a troublemaker with a crimi criminal record. Uh, well, there's no need to have a lengthy conversation about this. Just keep up with your training. Yay. You have the opportunity to learn, so you should take some time for yourself and keep improving. Nice. People would treat you with respect if they knew you could serve great coffee. Well, then. We should rest now. We have a big day tomorrow. You have a big day tomorrow. Ba -bow, bow, bow. Well, the expedition must be opening today. It's really packed. Want to come back another time? I want it, but it's so pricey. I should take out a loan. Don't do that. I want to see that. Let's go together sometime. So crowded. It'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, all right? You came. Nah, Yusuke. Um, yeah. You really came. I did. What'd you expect I did, you left us those tickets. Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Okay. Why are you so mean to me? Come now. I'll show you around. Wearing your nice I'd like little to boots. Speak more about the picture I'd like to draw too. Like nice little button up. What are you gonna do? Well, see you guys later. With your little keys on the, on your uh, on your loop on your belt loop there. 
I'm trying to be all cute. Will Lady what are you? Hun be alright? Not cute. What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something cute. funny? Can't do anything about it. I told you not to come out. Are we really gonna appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? Let's learn about Matarame. I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? Hmm? It's that old man from the other day. We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. Oh, Matarame. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? Huh. <laughs> this big old fucking head of mine. Well, it is rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart, like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Naturally, you say? Very. What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. A shack? I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Damn right. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Matarame. You would understand if you saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something? Was it? Matarame san is actually here? Uh, oh! I'm so glad I came on opening day. Hey, okay, stop pushing. Oh, Matarame. Oh, Matarame, you fucking douche. Ugh, there's way too many people. I'm getting. Anyways, we gotta head for the exit. Don't die on us, alright? Here we go. Dying I didn't on know you. There were so many types of Japanese art. There's so many. Usually one concentrates on their own style. However, Sensei creates all this by himself. All this by himself. He's special. He's not. There you are, Yusuke. Sensei. Ah, the girl from yesterday. So is his palace you enjoying the exhibit? Sorry, is his palace gonna be just a fucking? He's just gonna be a paintbrush. I don't know how to put a creative it into looking words, paintbrush. but it's really amazing. You're sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. I hope well, so then, too. If you'll excuse me. You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. He seems really friendly. Indeed. He's not that friendly, though. He hits me. Makes me walk around on all fours in his uh, little shack. The painting I wanted to see in person. Never mind that. This one? I guess it's the painter's anger? I'm not sure, but I sense this strong frustration from it. I think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. No, uh, that one's actually, um, fine. Something wrong? Don't mind me. There are better pieces than this one. Come now, this, this way, H Hey. he says. Lady totally elbowed me. What a baby. Ryuji's such a baby. Thanks to that, I remember now. About what? Well, let me get to it. All right. It's about a post online. Here, look at this. Why'd you leave without me? Sorry. You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd and... I like how, I like how Ryuji looks right there. It's great. It's kind of great. Anyways, you gotta look at this too. This post might be about Matarame. What's it say? A map 
Plagiarizing? Fuck me. He's plagiarizing. I didn't think That's much what of it when I first saw it. It's fucking plagiarizing. Jack and Matarame triggered it. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, hmm? If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Hello? Bop, bop, bop. Okay. Sorry. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. A man like that doing such a thing? Okay. I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. And how are we going to go Nohara? Are we going to explain it all, starting with Mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? I mean, he seems kind of like a dick. He does. I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? Hell yeah, dude. Well, yeah, but is it really true? By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Kitagawa-kun gave me his contact info and the address to his sensei's atelier. Atelier. He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing. Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after Perfect school. Perfect timing. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? Oh yeah. It's too sudden. What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Kitagawa. Oh, that's what you meant. And you're gonna get naked. Duh. Okay. In any case, we need to find out if that rumor about Madarame is true. If it is, this might just be exactly what we needed. That reminds me, the home shopping program is airing today. You want to check out the TV? I guess we'll go. Hi everyone, it's time to do some shopping. Here's what we got for you today. First up, the Allergy Relief Pack. Great for every, anyone who's sick of being sick. Calming mask and 20 wide eye drops. These will be in one set. What a steal. But wait, there's more. Next up, the Cosmetic Cure Gift. Great for anyone seeking peace of mind. One Aroma Vish Machine and one Omni Vitamin. These will both be in one set. What a steal! Wow, they're both such great items. I can't decide which one to get. All right, this is a limited item. Today's the only one and only day it'll be available. And of course, the price is just right. You won't see this kind of deal ever again. Oh, the phones are already ringing off the hook. Only a few remaining. Now's your final chance to buy, buy, buy. Hey, hey. <sighs> Apparently, the phones are ringing nonstop. If we buy one, then the other one it will probably be sold out before we can get it. Gift set for health and cosmetics loved by working women everywhere. Allergy relief pack. Yeah, whatever. Let's buy it. I can do it, dude. No, oh, another buyer's just called in. Thank you so much. Oh, they're both. They both sold out. That last customer was extraordinarily lucky. We'll try to get your order to you as quickly as possible. Goodbye for now. We'll see you again next time with another fabulous product. Goodbye for now. Well then. Now, all we have to do is wait for it to arrive. Damn right. I'm gonna brew some coffee. Hey. 
going to try and make some coffee? Yeah, fuck it. Ooh. It's like you're starting to get interested in this. And you're not trying to impress me, are you? Fuck yeah, I am. Well, whatever. All right, I'm heading out to buy some cigarettes. I'm a shapeshifter. Whoa, I love the smell of good coffee. What am I making this time? Yes. All right. Yes. All right. The way you're drinking, it makes it look so delicious. The Blanc coffee. Uh, looks like the chief's gentlemanly charm is rubbing off on you. Boink. And I'm kind of good. Oh, was that charm? Charm. Sorry. Charm. Silly me. <laughs> Looks like you're at it again. How's it going? Here, I'll have a sip. I'm going to be on the other side. As always. Mmm. This acidity. Must be Guatemalan SHB. Let me explain. The volcanic soil of Guatemala is ideal for growing coffee. Guatemalan beans are ranked by their altitude of cultivation. Strictly hard bean, a grade given to coffee grown at altitudes above 4,500 feet, is a citrus-like acidity. Acidity. And a full body. <sighs> Flavor profile is bland. You should practice more to bring out the roast's full potential. Although I see you're preparing the cup the way I taught you. I'll acknowledge your hard work. <sighs> you have a lot to learn, in coffee and in life. Be patient. Pussy. Well then. We should rest now. We have a big day tomorrow. Yeah, we do. We have stuff to do. Like, stuff and work and... All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Or something like that, you know? Okay, let's get started. Hey, Maruki, what's up, buddy? How we doing? How we doing today? How we doing, my guy? Thanks to the school... <laughs> I can even talk to you outside of counseling now. I want to take. A, I want to talk a little about how mental health and perception can affect you. Don't worry. I don't want to stress you out or anything. Just relax and listen. How much do you know? How much do you guys know about the emotional mind? So, see, what's going on in your mind can affect your body pretty significantly. There's proof of it. it can even heal you, depending on your outlook. So, Yoshikun. What do we call the phenomenon where a believing in a treatment's power is enough to improve your condition? That would be the placebo effect. This is it. This is it. That's right. Yep, that's correct. Some people specify that placebos don't actually have any curative properties. But even if the medicine does nothing chemically, it can affect your perception and help you feel better. On the other hand, if you don't trust the medicine to begin with, it might make you feel even worse. Well, we call that a nocebo. <laughs> hey, did you get that question? I wasn't even close. Maybe it should ask Von Bora's nose. Nice going! Wow, I'm really smart. See, I got a little dingle bang. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Hmm. That's just one example, but my point is that our minds and bodies are more connected than we think. So it's important to not to push yourself too hard. Remember, your mind needs time to rest too. And it's my job to help with that, so come by the nurse's office whenever you're feeling down. Mind affects the body, huh? Do I change back into a human if I just believe in it hard enough? <laughs> no, no. You're never turning back into a human, Morgana. I don't wanna, you know, fuck with you there, but you're not. I don't wanna I don't wanna hurt your feelings, but you're not. Madarame the Madarame exhibit is great. You gotta go see it. I've been feeling pretty down lately. Maybe I should go to counseling. I never knew that art could be so explosive. Have you been to counseling yet? Yeah, the Manorama exhibit, eh? Well, it is on the tell. We all like art. Phantom thieves going by train. <laughs> this ain't any different from how I get home from school, you know. The train is the fastest way to go. Plus, we can bring pets on here. Yeah. Hey, who are you calling a pet? Uh, Morgana. I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling me Master. Oh, kitty! Oh no. Shoot! Is that your pet, mister? I heard it meowing! Yeah. Yeah, it's a stuffed animal. Yeah, it's just a toy! It meows when you press on its head. You heard her! Press on its head? This is ridiculous! Wowie! Again! Again! I should butt mash. That's so funny. I want to hear it again. 
Oh, I just threw open my mouth. <laughs> oh, seriously? The next stop is Shibuya. Shibuya. Doors will open on the left side. Oh, this is our stop. Hell well, yeah. see you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. <laughs> no. So, which line do we got to transfer to? Doesn't look like there are any stations close by to that address. If anything, this is the closest station. What? And we gotta walk the rest of the way? What kind of phantom thief takes the train and then walks to their destination? Stop your complaining. It's supposedly a shack, but this is the neighborhood he lives in. As expected of a famous artist. Word. Hmm. Madarame is secretly guilty. Seriously guilty. Totally the perfect target. Search for your next target. Where am I at? Sorry, guys. Let's go. We'll have to walk from here on. I think we're supposed to head there from Central Street. I don't wanna. It's Station Square. Red to Monorami's house. Go, 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 go. Wait. Um, it's supposed to be in a residential area past Central Street. We we'll have to walk a bit, though. Okay, let's get going. This is Guru Kamashita, former Olympian, teacher at Shujin Academy. Reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? The human mind doesn't change that easily, let alone their natural temperament. Jujin Academy. Seems doubtful. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it. Just in case. What? 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 Is that it? Yeah, man. We're at the right address. The door plate does say Matarame. Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? No they one might. sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? Who is it? Sensei is currently. Um, it's Takamaki. Takamaki. I'll be right out. Is it? Oh, oh! People really do live here. My queen! <sighs> Takamaki. -san. You two are here as well? Uh, hey. Sorry, but uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Is it true Matarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? Are you serious? Hmm. We read about it online. Just hits. <laughs> Bitch slaps him. <laughs> Preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse. No? He welcomes pupils into his own home. This is no act of violence. It is charity. And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true. So it's beyond doubt. Well, Yusuke. You on. might be lying about it. That... that is utter rubbish. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. Well, if you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day. Rue it. You really think that? Yusuke. Hey, matter What's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors. Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. Well, that's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? No. Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. 
I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. Sayuri? This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. It's so beautiful. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. Oh, shit. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Well. Maybe the Matarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Not likely. Man, right when we thought we found a new target, too. How's the MetaNav? Oh. Hey, the app. It's going nuts. Was it picking up our conversation? This display. It means that Matarame has a palace, too, right? And it's about oh, to boy. happen. Matarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real, though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? We yeah. have the person's name and the location. She's probably a All dick. All that's left is the what that Madarame mistakes the shack for to enter his palace. You mean like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? Mm -hmm. That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden, though. Why don't we start with castle? No candidates found. No candidates. Then what about prison? No candidates found. Ah, what a pain. Candidate found. Jail, a warehouse, and guidance counseling office. Might as well add farm. No candidates found. Not a single hit. Should we come back another time? A building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? A museum. There it is. Forgetting navigation? Whoa, really? There it goes. There we go. Hey, when did you activate the nav? You surprised oh, me. Did. Didn't have much of a choice. I think we just happened to get it right. What if I hadn't noticed, and then wandered off and got caught by an enemy? Probably would have figured it out once he started walking on two legs. <sighs> so even you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana? Yes. In a place with minimal cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. Forget that! Look! That shack is seriously some kind of museum? God damn. Let's go check it out. It's just fucking wild. It's so extravagant to the point that it's gaudy. It's yeah, it a is. museum, right? This is Matarame's? Well, a palace is a world formed by a mind twisted by desire. Remember Kamoshida's castle? Madarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality, too, though. His exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? You got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse, either. Let's try looking around. He's an Racking egomaniac. Here won't do us any good. I love right. the music in this palace. Oh, shit. Palace hey, how you doing? How you doing? I, do, I have an... Um, Oh shit, what was I gonna say? My brain just died. Sorry. <laughs> um I've seen a little bit of this one and I can I can agree. I dig it. Uh in a museum of must phantom thieves? Definitely. Now that's our Joker. I feel the same. But man, just look at that insane crowd. We're not getting in like that. Well 
and it's time we begin our infiltration. Ugh. Are we gonna have to wait in this gigantic line? Don't be stupid. We're not going in the front door, moron. There's a high wall around the building. Shall we go? We'll just have to find our way up over it then. In any case, let's get going. Oh, right there. Doink, doink. Yep. This is really how he thinks of that rundown shack. It's overwhelmingly shiny. It's just not hitting me that this is that old guy's palace. That's why we're here, right? Come on, let's go check it out. Oh my god, I'm wearing you stuff. Ha ha ha. I love it. Oh my god. She's a uh, Morgana's wearing Teddy stuff. Ha ha ha. I fucking love it. Anyway. Animal brush. Do, do, do. I have something. I have something. Blink. Give me that animal brush. Dude, hell yeah. Get up in there. Hey! Yo, the skylight's open. I think we can get in here. It's a pretty far drop. Will we be able to get back out this way? Now's my ah, don't worry. I have a rope. I'm our tool specialist, after all. So what's your call, Joker? Want to head inside? Let's do this. How suspicious. It's quiet in here. Almost eerily so. Oh. Hey, this... It's moving? <laughs> I know, right? It's so great. I uh, I downloaded that DLC, and yeah, I had to I had to put on the P4 stuff, because why not? Come on, we're in a palace. There ain't anything to be freaking out over. Mm. Hmm, the this palace is. reflects its ruler's heart. We want to check out these paintings out. Oh, oh no! Oh, I gotta see. I gotta see if we, if I can put one on Ryuji. Oh, I can't. There we go. Beautiful. It's somewhere. Blue sash. Okay. Give me that. Give me that thick parchment. Hey. Hold on a second, Joker. Let's take a look at these paintings for uh, the paintings first. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Here I am just running around like a fool. Hmm? Oh hey. There's some kind of explanation here. Let me see. Someone name it's someone's name and age. What the hell? It can't be the title of the painting, right? You think it's the artist's name? Hmm. Let's check the other paintings too. I think there might be something important about them. Alright. Hey, hey. I'm curious about the other paintings too. Come on, let's go look in the next room. Oh, okay. over here what, what? hey or can't all be portraits right hey well they can I mean look at this it seems to be all that it is oh it's this guy hey this doesn't make any sense Madarame is famous for having a variety of art styles oh but all the portraits on display here look the same. This is way different from what was at the... Could... Wait a sec. Could be a nice little hint. Is yeah. This the guy we saw it's Nako Nohara, I think. You know, the, the one who was shit-talking Madarame? Natsuhiko Nako Nohara. His Boom. name's written on the plaque. Dude, I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him in here? Well... And more important, why is his name written under it? Again. You're right. Doesn't art usually have like the title of the piece or the artist's name? Hmm, this is quite the mystery. 
All right. Let's keep looking around for now. What's somewhere? What is that? Oh, that's just a. It was shiny. I had to touch it. Huh? No way. <gasps> it's Yusuke. Hey, isn't this a painting of that guy? It's, it's Kitagawa. It says Yusuke Kitagawa. There's no mistaking it. Oh, poor Kitagawa. Huh? Wait a second. Poor Yusuke. What do you think these paintings are? Well painted. Matarami's pupils. I think you're right. For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his place before. This must include former pupils as well. Only one remains now. Taking into account what that Nakanohara guy said earlier, things are getting clearer. He's a dick. All right, let's keep investigating. We need something to further confirm our deductions. Well, I can see it. Okay. Yeah. What is that? Oh, it's a uh, some sort of brochure here. Hmm? What? You find something? We're to investigate, so we should check everything that catches our attention. All right, it's Hold on. Oh. Hold, chill your shit, Ryuji. Is this a pamphlet? It's getting way too detailed for a freaking palace. Why do you bother making something like this? Oh, there's a museum guide on here. Let's take it with us. Oh, yeah. A map. I'm a map. Yeah, it might even show us the location of the treasure. It's right, nice. it's right over there. That's a possibility. At the very least, it should be a good reference for the scale of this palace. But the map only shows half of the museum. I see. It says one out of two. And two out of two has got to be around here somewhere, right? Just how big is this palace? Place. We can worry about that another time. Right now, our objective is confirming Matarame's co cognition. We may have to reconsider our plan depending on what we find. I mean, he's got a palace. It seems pretty sketch to me. Fair. Let's open it. Dude, I got lock picks for days. Chill out. We're opening this bitch. Lunar Cutlass. Oh. Ooh, this beauty looks like it's just my size. This is mine now, alright? Go ahead. Yep. Now I'm even more of a threat. Actually, we want to see. With. Oh shit! Okay, it's a deadly boy. Ooh, another one. Straw doll. I can feel it. Yo, this is kind of insane. Holy shit. Hold on, I gotta steal this. I steal you. Give me that pearl. Yeah. What do I look like? Joker. Let's check around this room a little closer. Well, it's not, though. Focus. Focus. We gotta look at this. Ah. Hmm. Oh. Look at this. The Infinite Spring? A conglomerate work of art that the great director Matarame created with his own funds. Just great. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Jesus. Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? <laughs> For real? Damn it. What a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. 
I mean, yeah. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. It's kind of fucked. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Madarame yeah. will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... Toss them aside. He's treating them like slaves or tools. Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up. He did say that he owes Madarame his life for being taken in. I don't think Yusuke knows. I'm going to say Yusuke probably doesn't Still. know. And, you know, he's under the impression that he's like the sense. Well, no, he's got to know. He's got to know. When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of he's the pieces know. on display. But Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Madarame? <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. That's what I'm talking about. Fuck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Hold on, you two. We should confirm these facts with Yusuke once more. No. Confirm what, though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. We're gonna go kick his ass. What a pain in the ass. Kick Madarame's little ass. Besides, there's too much big ass know head about on his tiny ass yet. body. Mm, you're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Yeah. Wait, you're gonna do that? Oh, yeah. You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. Don't be. A famous, renowned artist, huh? Oh, this might be tougher than Kamashita. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real phantom thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what. No! Ow. Ow. Whoa. Mm. The reason why Yusuke is hiding the truth, huh? really forgive someone unconditionally if you owe your life to them? I'm not so sure anymore. What are you bringing this up for? According to Kitagawa-kun, Madarame isn't a problem. What do you mean? Something wrong? I mean, I know Madarame is a bad person, but still. Maybe I'm so hesitant because I've I'm, I haven't actually met any of his victims. Yeah, I guess that's part, that part's totally different from what happened with Kamoshida. This might be an extreme line of thinking. But if an evil person isn't causing any trouble now, is there really a point in us stepping in? Well, you got a point. So we're going to let Yusuke decide if Madarame is worth going after or not. I don't know, if it were me, I'd never forgive that bastard. Can you ask Yusuke on? Okay, okay, got it. I guess we can talk some more about this after that. Okay, let's meet in Shibuya after school tomorrow. Hey, hey, another box game for you. Hey, more stuff. Aroma machine. Omni vitamins. It's my order from the, that home shopping program. What, I, what, what did I get? Let me open my shit here. LeBlanc coffee restores 30 SP to one ally. Oh, shit. Okay. Anyway. Got a beef patty ration. Got a straw doll. those these unisex equipment oh animal brush made for animal hair sells for a good amount murder is loose sells for some small damage base 
Sells for a ton. Museum brochure. Paper bag, Jose Star, Garden Energy, Bionutrients, Mega Fertilizer. Uh, oh, vitamin that covers all the bases of health for the busybody. Palm sized machine that dispenses fragrance and moisture for desk workers. Hey, hey! Yes. Let's bring a plant nutrient for those who want serious care for their plants. Yes. I want to take care oh. of my plant. Doink! Dude, my kindness. Yes. You should do it for a while. Mm. But you should stop. Aren't you tired? I don't want you to get hurt. Don't tell me what to do, Morgana. I want to read. Let me do stuff. Okay. Let's call it a day and go to bed. I guess. I guess. I guess. Ooh, fucking... Hey, it's me. Hey, buddy. How we doing? Forgive Matarame, but what Aunt said made me think. To Yusuke, are we just a bunch of thugs? Yeah, we all look like Ko uh, Kanji. You don't know either, huh? It ain't like he thinks it is. It pisses me off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much crap while, while shitty adults do whatever they want. Yeah, yeah, shitty adults, man. I'm not wrong, am I? Maybe. Might be. We'll take him down. Oh uh, yeah. Don't tell on I called you, by the way. Uh, seriously. Well, see you tomorrow. Good to know. I'm a shapeshifter. Do you believe in the Phantom Thieves? I don't think they do. They believe in the Phantom Thieves at all. All right, I contacted Ki Kitagawa Kun about modeling for him. So waiting for his response. Thanks. I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do as an art model, though. Cover yourself in paint. <laughs> at least try to take this seriously. Look, don't gotta go out all out for this. You're only doing it so you can get Turtle Madarame, Remember? That is true. Sounded like Kitagawa Kun wants this to be a private picture of this, though. Well, I guess I'll let you guys know when he contacts me again. Oh, he's gonna have to get in the nude. I got a response from Kitagawa Kun. He said he wants me to come over after school today. Word. Perfect. Probably dropped all his plans just to get you over there. Goddamn right he did. We need to find out from Kitagawa Kun if what we saw in the palace was true. Hey. Quiet down. It's that student council president. <gasps> it's Nijima. Isn't that her name? Makoto Nijima. Oh, Mishima. Cute little Mishima. You know? Yikes. Adorable she little Mishima. Mishima today? It'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, I'll split up. Okay, see you later. Bye. Bye. Look how that guy's uh, arm is we infused. finally landed a big target. Come on. Let's get some dirt on Matarame. But man, Han's late. Sorry. I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time had passed. Thinking about what? Don't you think Kitagawa kun has to be protecting Matarame? I mean, they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Matarame's true nature. The only reason I can think of him doing that is that Matarame has something on him. Yeah, that's weird. But that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean prepared? Prepared for what? Something seemed different about her to you? Definitely. You're totally right. Hmm? But I'm the same as always. I don't believe you. Huh. Well, let's get going. We gotta talk to Yusuke. Kitagawa kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Sick. Once he finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Matarame. Word. Let's do it. Let's do it. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. Wouldn't you get nervous too, if it was just the two of us? We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Oh shit. Stop making such odd assumptions. 
I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Damn. Huh? Damn. Is there a problem? Damn. No, not really. Well then, let's get started. Hey. Kitagawa-kun? Hmm. Don't talk to me. I'm trying to do art. You hear her? Hmm. It's no use. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? How were we supposed to know this was gonna happen? Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. Say an Perhaps effing pain I in the ass. I should try going outside this room. Don't get caught. Hm. Who do you think you're talking to? A cat. This is too boring. So I'm going to scout around a bit. Is it too much? Too much ayahuasca, and now I'm hallucinating all this. It's just one big trip. It's weird how flashy that door is. And is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? Damn, Brad, I'll sue! <sighs> Are you done? It's no good. What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No. No. Not at all. It's just... I'm a big old baby, I'm baby. I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. No. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. Mm. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. Mm. This again... Yes. In that painting yes. I saw at the exhibit, you're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... Uh... I knew it. Your sensei seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. We know! I have no idea what you're talking about. You do, bud. You couldn't go against You do, bud. Him, Trust you? me. I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. Looking cool, it's Joker. just as you all say. We're our sensei's know, artwork. Right? That's okay. You're fine. Don't You're fine, Joker. Don't me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, still. <sighs> Hitagawa-kun. Tagawa. Then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. And the other pupils, my dude? <laughs> Bitch! I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? So Yosuke. Don't ever come here again. <laughs> if you do, I'll Poor sue Yusuke. you for causing a disturbance. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. I'm gonna call the po police. Hey. I'm reporting you to the police. Oh. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. <laughs> oh, what the shit. F, man? Yuji, stop it! Yeah, shut the fuck up, Calm Ryuji. Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under You've one You've never condition. come back here again. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you but said naked. that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you're willing to bear everything to me, I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting oh, ever. Yep, there it is. What? There it is. About right here. Nude? It's about right here. Uh, That's where I'm at. To think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model. Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. 
If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some inconveniences. Nude? Meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. But that's... Wait, ain't that bad? Since he is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely, I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans. But please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean! Why are you not listening? Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. All right. No, no, no. We are not done talking here. Hey, what should we do? Uh, I, I, I don't know. To be perfectly honest. Yeah, damn it. He got us good this time. Guess we're going to have to see Takamaki naked. Don't give up so naked. easily. Huh? Is she done being a model? Hey, kitty, kitty. A cat? Moron. No big deal. No big deal at all. He's totally out of his mind. I'm gonna have to pose nude if this keeps up. Yeah. How dare that, Yusuke? The way he said it, it's not gonna be semi, but full on nude. Uh, 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 full nudity? Uh, Lady On's gonna drop it. You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. This is true. But Kitagawa-kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then, Lady On, you're fine with bearing it all? I am not! Madarame's no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No, it is yeah. frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses too. Before he ends up like us. So jammy, dude. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet, too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. You're damn right. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. And get naked! Tagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? Damn right. Hell no! We must deal with Madarame, no matter what, before his exhibit ends. Let's start after school tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so... Uh, where to meet up? Let's see... I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarame's place, too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan yeah. I don't mind back until we become friends with Makoto. Your hideout has moved from the Shujin Academy rooftop to the Shibuya Tekiyu, Tekiyu, Tekiyu building accessway. Hey, uh, can I talk to you, kids? Hey, for woman a with camera. Huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Uh. No. Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have you heard anything about that? Yeah, Ryuji knows. Me? I don't know nothing. I see. Haha. <laughs> there's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Same. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. No, you're okay. Don't worry. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? 
I don't necessarily want to. See you then. Put my glasses. I guess we should go home for today. I still can't forgive him. Depending, demanding to paint Lady on nude and claiming to report us to the police. Yeah, right? It's kind of fucked. Especially hey, everything that she went through in the first arc. Yeah, I got him. I have some interesting news. Sure. Someone who received a change of heart contacted me on the fan site. Word. Said he wants to meet with you to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. You're better off talking to him in person if you want specifics. Sure, Mishima. All I Mishima. know is his target is a terrible person. Oh. And that it might complicate things if he posted the name online. Word. I'll have him wait for it's you It's Ryuji! After school. Fuck. What a twist. The guy's name is Nakanohara. 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 That's Matarame's student. I told him to approach you. Good luck. Good luck. Fuck. Found out something insane about Matarame. Sounds like a student has offed himself when he couldn't speak about Matarame stealing his work. That's unforgivable. The journalist was looking into Matarame too. It could be real. Someone died though. No one's talking about it. I bet it was covered up. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun has it heard anything. It'd be great if he could help us out. Ain't that asking a bit much? After today, he's probably gonna be on edge about us. Well, anyway, Matarame is still a piece of crap. Let's meet up tomorrow. It'll be our first time at the new hideout. It's that passageway in Shibuya, right? Got it. See you guys tomorrow. If the rumor Ryuji just spoke of is true, there have to be other victims. Yeah, there's a couple. <laughs> Look at, look at Kamoshina sitting over there. Let me brew coffee. Hey. Oh. Looks like you're starting to get interested in this. Hey, you're not trying to impress me, are you? He's buying some cigs. Love the smell of some good coffee. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. Well, you're drinking it makes it look delicious. La Blanc coffee. <laughs> it looks like the Chief's gentlemanly charm is rubbing off on you. <laughs> boink, boink, boink. <laughs> Looks like you're at it again. How's it going? Here, I'll have a sip. Get on the other side of this fucking bar. Mmm. This taste it must be Colombian Nariño. Let me explain. The high altitude, rainy climate, and soil of the Colombian mountains creates a strong foundation for their high-quality coffee. Nariño coffee has a creamy, viscous body that coats the mouth with fruity and nutty flavors. <sighs> the flavor profile is bland. You should practice more to bring out the roast full potential. Well, I see you're preparing the cup the way I taught you. I'll acknowledge your hard work. Thanks, <sighs> Shojiro. You have a lot to learn, in coffee and in life, he says. Every time I make coffee for him. Well then. We should rest now. Yeah, I know. We should rest now. We got shit to do. Like raid a fucking palace. Well then. Neon, our hideout's going to be at Shibuya. That reminds me, Mishima said Nakonohara should be in Shibuya too. Yo. We're about to head to the hideout, too. Sick. Who's that? John Cena. Excuse me. It's Nakanohara. That's Nakanohara. Nakanohara. Mishima told us to meet him here in Shibuya today. For real? My name is Nakanohara. Natsuiko Nakanohara. The one who was posted about on the Phantom Aficionado website. He seems pretty nice. Doesn't seem like the stalker type. I think the change of heart must have worked. The administrator of that website contacted me. They told me to look for someone in a Shujin uniform with a cat. So, what do you want? 
You may have already heard, but there's someone I wish to trigger a change of heart in. An artist by the name of Madarame. <gasps> you think this is it? Is the pupil gonna confess his master's secrets? Hell yeah. His shadow did mention Madarame as well. I'm one of Madarame's former pupils. He gave me lodging at his home, where I thought only about art. I genuinely wanted to be an artist. There was another pupil as well. A very talented man, multiple years my senior. Obviously, Madarame kept tabs on him. Everything he made was claimed as a Madarame original. He wasn't the only victim, though. Right, we got some real proof of the plagiarism. In response to Madarame's actions, that senior pupil committed suicide. Suicide? He must have been unable to bear seeing his work praised under Madarame's name. That was when I disobeyed Madarame's orders and left, but he quickly pressured other parts of the art world, and my life as a painter was destroyed. I tried to turn over a new leaf working at a ward office, but it was no use. My attachment to art warped my emotions. Capitalism! Soon I began getting attached to everything. In the end, I even turned into a stalker. <laughs> I'd like to ask again, please, Make Madarame have a change of heart. Will Not do. only for me. It's to save the life of another man as well. What do you mean, bro? Even now, there's still one young man remaining under Madarame's tutelage. I think he's about your age. Oh, fuck. That has to be Yusuke. Not only is he a talented artist, he also owes Madarame for taking him in after his mother passed. He is the perfect target. The perfect target. So Yusuke's got no choice but to listen. I actually spoke to him a few times back when I was still living at Madarame's. I asked him if he found it painful to stay with Madarame. And you know what he said? If I could leave, I would. Kitago Akun. Poor Kitago Akun. I have no right to say this given my prior cowardice, but. I don't want to see another suicide. I'd like to find a way to save this young man. He has a bright future ahead of him. Please consider that when thinking about changing Madarame's heart. Yeah, Yusuke. Think about Yusuke! We've been asked to act directly on behalf of one of Madarame's victims. It sounds like we don't have the time to deliberate whether or not to change Madarame's heart. Yeah, Madarame's just a piece of shit who preys on the weak. Suicide. I'll never let something like that happen. Plus, we finally got to hear how Kitago Akun really feels. Well, since we've reached a unanimous decision, how about we continue this at our new hideout? Aw, oh, sick, bro. My fellow thieves, welcome to our new hideout. Our target this time is Madarame. We all saw that palace. We'll pay dearly if we assume it's just going to be like the last one. And furthermore, Lady An's chastity is on the line. What? Okay. We'll need to do what we did with Kamoshida. First, we secure an infiltration route in the palace. After that, we send our calling card. Once the treasure has materialized, we steal it. Oh, oh, I got a question. Uh, Madarame doesn't know that we were doing stuff in the palace yet. Why are we already getting treated like criminals in there? It's for criminals, baby. You're learning, Ryuji. Well done. It must be because he doesn't trust anyone. Any unknown person may as well be an enemy. Or maybe he's just super salty from all those rumors that have been spreading about him. We're criminals, baby. Then his palace being so crazy had nothing to do with us? Either way, we should stay on our best behavior. It'll be harder for us to steal the treasure if we needlessly increase the security level. We need to be careful of Kitagawa-kun this time, too. I'm sure that whatever he sees will just get passed on to Madarame. You're damn right it will. That's right. I'll give it to Madarame, hey, too. What is Madarame's treasure going to look like anyway? Another crown? I doubt that, but my sixth sense will know when I see it. Oh, yeah. You go completely nuts, huh? Our time limit is when the exhibit ends, right? That means... June 5th. We'll carry out the plan after we've sent out the calling card. So our infiltration route will need to be set in stone two days prior on June 2nd. Now listen here! 
We can't mess this up, no matter what. So how many days okay? I got? Okay. Two weeks. Oh my god. Okay. This is the first job for penis bumps. Let's make sure we do it right. Come on, it's time to get this mission started. Mission, your mission to change Matarame's heart has begun. You must steal this treasure by the deadline. 18 months, 10 days, baby. Special obstacles and palaces. Occasionally, you encounter palace obstacles. They're impassable and require interacting with the target in the real world. You will need to leave the palace to find the obstruction. Your palace is quickly to find obstacles and triumph over challenges before the deadline. Loose. He's gonna bust a nut. He's gonna bust. There we go. Now then. I'm sure you already know this, but the first thing we need to do is secure an infiltration route. Then we send the calling card. Yeah, yeah, we know the drill. Anyways, let's get ready. 